We continue with interviewing techniques. This time, we ask about energy levels. It is important to remember that fatigue can be not only a deficiency condition, but also an excess condition. There are, however, fundamental differences in the underlying dynamics of the two types of fatigue. There are also significant differences in when and how the fatigue manifests. In a deficient state of fatigue, there is a genuine deficiency of energy in the body, which makes the person feel tired. The fatigue will last all day, become more apparent as the day goes on, and will usually be worse in the late afternoon and evening. The fatigue will also be worse after physical and mental activity or exertion because the physical and mental activity will consume the person's chi and make their deficiency greater. It is, however, important to be aware that the person might feel refreshed and more energetic immediately after physical activity. This is because the physical activity has created movement, thereby circulating and activating their chi. The fatigue will, though, resurface and be greater later on that day or the day after as they have drawn on their reserves. When there is fatigue, it is also important to determine whether the fatigue is due to an actual deficient condition or whether the person has unrealistic expectations with regards to how much energy a person should have. It is not uncommon for a person to complain that they feel tired or exhausted, but when questioned, you discover that they are constantly physically and mentally active from early morning to late evening, and they sleep too little. These patients are chi deficient but their chi deficiency is the consequence of unrealistic expectations of how much chi the body is capable of producing rather than an imbalance in one or more of the chi producing organs. When there is an excess condition manifesting with tiredness, it is not because there is insufficient chi. The tiredness arises because there is something that is blocking the chi, so it cannot circulate around the body resulting in the person experiencing fatigue. In these cases, the fatigue will be worse in the morning. This is because the person has been physically inactive all night and their chi has therefore not been circulated by the body's natural movement. This means that they feel tired and find it difficult to get going in the morning. Once they have been up and about for a while, the body's natural movements help to circulate chi and the tiredness is reduced. Fatigue due to excess conditions will also be relieved by physical activities such as running, biking, yoga, chopping wood, and so on. They will, on the other hand, feel more lethargic and fatigue if there is a lack of physical movement. There are differences not only in the overall underlying mechanisms of deficient and excess hardness, but also in the mechanisms within the two groups themselves. These differences mean that there are some characteristic signs that can be asked about when differentiating the various imbalances. Now let's discuss chi deficiency fatigue. Chi deficiency fatigue arises when not enough chi is produced to carry out the various processes in the body. The person may well feel tired already when they wake up in the morning, either because there is not enough chi or because their chi deficiency means the chi and blood have a tendency to stagnate due to a lack of propulsion. This condition is then exacerbated when the person has been inactive all night and the circulation of chi has not been assisted by the body's physical movement. The vital difference here between them and a person who has a pure stagnation condition is that the fatigue worsens as the day goes on and is aggravated by activity and exertion. A person with spleen chi deficiency will often feel tired after meals, especially after eating a lot of, a lot or eating rich food. This is because large or rich meals place a greater burden on the spleen chi when the spleen transforms the ingested food into ku chi. The weakening of spleen chi will also often give rise to the emergence of dampness, which blocks the pure yang chi from ascending upwards whilst blocking the shen, so the person becomes drowsy and lethargic. Yang deficiency fatigue. One of the tasks that Yang performs is to activate the body. When there is Yang deficiency, a person will experience, will experience both physical and mental lethargy and fatigue. 
they will lack a fundamental sense of enthusiasm and motivation. The difference between Qi deficiency fatigue and Yang deficiency fatigue will be apparent in the other signs and symptoms. Yang deficiency conditions will simultaneously manifest with signs such as an aversion to cold, cold limbs, and so on. Yang deficiency fatigue is sometimes more apparent in winter, the most Ian period of the year. The person may also suffer from winter depressions. A man with kidney yang deficiency will feel more fatigued after he has had sex or ejaculated because he loses both kidney jing and kidney yang on ejaculation. This is also the reason that many men fall asleep immediately after sex. Thank you for listening.